We begin tonight in Ancaster, where Hamilton police are investigating a suspicious death. Now, police say they're still working on identifying the victim and piecing together how the death occurred. Jason Gaidola has more. It was around 6.30 in the morning when first responders were called to the intersection of Kitty Murray Lane and Gardner Road in Ancaster to launch an investigation into a suspicious death. It started around 5 o'clock this morning, and I said, oh, what's, what's going on? Is there, you know, and he said a body was found. Hamilton police say a citizen found the individual this morning. And Hamilton EMS tells CHCH News a woman who they believe to be in her 20s was transported to hospital without vital signs. Paramedics wouldn't say what injuries the victim sustained, but add they tried to revive her on the way to hospital. Police say the victim was in critical condition this morning, but later died. Authorities add they're working on identifying the person and notifying next of kin. I just went to turn right to go to work this morning. I see the in the section, you know, out of the Kittimuri Ranch and uh, Ghana Road block. That's it, and then I have to turn around and go the other way. This photo provided by a resident shows police and emergency crews blocking the intersection of Katie Murray and Gardner. But as the day progressed, the investigation scene expanded and markers were placed on multiple streets. Investigators began canvassing the area on Emmett Drive. Where a forensic unit began placing this tent over this bluish vehicle on this driveway. A resident in the area tells me that in the early morning there was all sorts of commotion, including screaming right in the area where Hamilton police have placed the blue tent. CHCH News asked Hamilton police about the vehicle in question. They have yet to tell us about a connection. Police say road closures are expected throughout the evening and are calling on anyone with information or surveillance video between 4 and 6.30 a.m. to contact them. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Ancaster.